Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. This is Tiffany with Small Town 6 and today I'm sharing with you guys some super easy, delicious and budget friendly meals because that is what I share over here. There is no sense in spending hours in the kitchen, buying ingredients you'll never use again. Um, and the kids probably won't even want that stuff if I made it. So I'm sharing with you guys some no fuss dinners today that are so easy, you can get on the table in no time. And today's video is extra special because it is in collaboration with one of my favorite people on YouTube. I've literally been watching Jamie since, um, gosh, since she started her channel and that's years ago. And I just was drawn to her because she is such a real person. She is genuinely a sweet and caring person. And as she has grown on YouTube, I have just like cheered her on and loved every bit of it and she has never changed who she is. She has always been super humble, super kind, and her channel is amazing. If you've never checked it out, it's Jamie's Journey. She is a mama of three. She um, lives with her hubby, Mike, and she shares tons and tons of cleaning motivation. Like, I'm not saying little bits of cleaning. I'm saying in-depth, detailed, I don't know how she does it all. I would lose my mind but I wish she'd come clean my house to be honest with you. <laughs> but Jamie's awesome. Jamie shares um, cooking in some of her videos. She shares grocery hauls in some of them, but you guys please go check her out. She is just an outstanding super mama. She is, I just don't have enough words to say about her because she is so kind. So I am ecstatic to be doing today's video with her because I'm a huge fan of hers and she's one of the sweetest friends. So. Go check her out, give her some love. If you guys are coming from Jamie's channel, welcome you guys. I'm a mama of four. I share lots of grocery hauls over here, budget conscious stuff, um, real life. You know, I'm just as real as, as you can get. I just try to be me. And I share lots of grocery hauls, lots of meals, lots of meal preps, things like that that are um, mind, like like-minded for those that are trying to save money or have families and or just don't even have family, just for themselves wanna save money. So you guys, I would love to have you here. I'd love to have you subscribe. Also, I will not keep this intro super long, but I am doing a really awesome sale today. I have custom apparel that I make also. I just wanna throw that out there because I'm doing a one week sale in honor of Mother's Day. Um, so if you buy two things, you get one free. That is on everything but the transfers. But you guys, I would love to have you check it out. It's also down um, if you next to the community tab or the store tab. So you can check it out, if see if there's anything you would want. I just wanted to share that everything I make custom myself. So just wanted to give you guys that. But let me quit rambling and let's get started with today's video, you guys. Okay guys, today I'm gonna make some beef bolognese, or bolognese, I don't know how you say it. Uh, it's off my macro plan that I get from Elise Ellis. And I'm gonna sign up for it today finally, so I will link it once I get those codes. But you need a can of tomato paste, you need four um, cans of crushed tomatoes, or um, two 28 ounce, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush this up because I did not have any of that on hand. I'm just gonna put this in a blender and puree it. So I'll have that. Um, then we also need, so we also need two things of 92% um, lean ground beef, but I'm gonna use 93% lean ground turkey because that's what I wanna cook with today and I had that. Then we also need one yellow onion chopped up, a tablespoon of garlic, which is in the fridge, one cup of beef broth, a fourth a cup of tomato paste. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably just gonna put the whole thing in there because there's nothing else to do with that. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two beef bouillon cubes, um, then we need to crush them up. Then one tablespoon of oregano, um, a tablespoon, I mean two teaspoons of thyme, which I am not a fan of thyme, uh, two teaspoons of basil, and a teaspoon of salt, and then um, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then you can put two bay leaves, but you guys, I never have bay leaves on hand. So I'm going to just combine all this after I brown the ground turkey and the onion. I'm gonna ground the, I'm gonna ground the brown turkey, blah, get in the ground turkey, the onion, and the um, garlic, and then um, once that's done, I'm just gonna put all this together in the slow cooker, and. You can cook it on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to six. I'm out of time today, so it's gonna be on high. And then you can serve it with pasta. 
you know, you can serve it with zucchini noodles, whatever your heart's desire. But let's go ahead and do this, guys. Okay, so I'm browning the ground turkey and the onion and the garlic in there. And then once that's done, we'll put it over in the crock pot. Just crush these up, guys. I didn't want to get my big blender out, so I'm just using this little one I've had forever. Okay, adding a cup of beef broth into this mixture. Then I'm going to add the seasonings that I've put all together in a bowl. While that meat is still browning, we'll add those in. I didn't have any um, Worcestershire sauce, so I'm going to use the coconut aminos in place of it and just add that. Sorry guys, that's super blurry. I don't know why, what just happened. There we go. So that's what we have so far. And I'm going to add the tomato paste in. It's supposed to just be a fourth a cup, but I'm just going to add the whole thing. So that way we don't waste any of it. And sorry, so sorry about this autofocus. I don't know what is going on here. There we go. Okay, added that. Now we're just waiting on the meat. Okay guys, there is the meat. It's all brown. I'm gonna add it to this, but I can't hold the camera at the same time and I don't have my stand. So let me come back to you. So there it is. I'm gonna mix all that together and then we're just gonna let it cook. I'm gonna let this cook for probably five hours on high. Okay, you guys, got the lid on. Look how pretty that is. I know, well, actually, it's not that pretty, but it smells so, so good in here. I'm going to cook it on high. We'll come back, and I'll probably make some homemade garlic bread. I've got salad in the fridge I got on sale the other day at Kroger. And then I've got bread in the freezer, so I'll make garlic bread. And we've got this. I've got tons of noodles that I stocked up on. So here is the noodles. Just heated those up. They were on sale. There is the salad mix. That was $1.64. And here is the sauce. It's all done. Okay, tonight's dinner is chicken burrito bowls. So I've got a pack of chicken. I'm actually gonna make two meals out of this. One meal is gonna be probably cracked chicken because Ryan doesn't like love taco and Mexican food all the time like I do. So I'll do that. So I've already sprayed the bottom. I'm just gonna put um, a couple chicken breasts in here. Ouch. And I'm gonna put some salsa in here. I'm gonna put some beans in here. I'm gonna put a cup of rice. I'm gonna put some liquid, obviously. Um, you can make these however you want to. I'm gonna put, I don't have any black beans, so I'll put another bean in there. And then you can put corn if you want. You need a cup of chicken broth to put in with this. Let me get the other stuff out. So, put the chicken broth in, because it's pretty much a cup. That was what I've got left, because I usually measure those out for other meals. And then we're gonna put some beans in here. Okay, you know me, so I'm gonna add in Rotel, because that is one of my things I like to add in. That's not. The normal recipes for this. I'm gonna add some green chilies because we have been loving green chilies. I'm gonna add kidney beans, but normally I would put black beans into this. Like I said, you can add corn into this. Um, let me find some other seasonings. We're gonna add some taco seasoning into this and some garlic powder. So let's add a packet of taco seasoning. Why well, I'm all the way over there. There we go. Let's add a packet of taco seasoning into this. And then let's get some garlic powder, some cumin, some chili powder, all those yummy flavors. Put like a teaspoon or so. I, can, I don't really measure spices too much because I put I know what we like and what we eat. So I'm putting cumin in there. I'm going to put some garlic powder in there. A little bit of garlic salt. Add a little bit of garlic flavor. A little bit of onion powder. And then let me find my chili powder. And then some chili powder. Okay, I'm going to add a cup of the um, jasmine rice that we keep on hand. And I did put my little, um, uh, uh, whatever you call that. I can't even think of the word tonight. Uh, I did put my little like thing in there. That way it wouldn't stick because the meat always likes to stick to the bottom. So then we're just going to cook this for about 20 minutes. And then we'll mix it all together. You can add some cilantro into this, some sour cream, you know, whatever you want. And there is that dinner. Okay, so here is the burrito bowls. I put some cheese in it after I shredded the chicken and it smells amazing. This has a little kick to it because I added the extra cute or uh, chilies in it, but yum. 
Okay guys, tonight is a let's figure out what we can throw in the crock pot and eat it for dinner kind of. Okay, so I've got this carne picada and this beef for that that I got at Aldi on sale. I'm gonna put this in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna use this carne asada sauce and I may throw some green chilies in there. I've just sprayed the bottom out. I'll also add probably a cup of liquid or at least a half cup because otherwise it will burn. And I put the trivet in there. So let's go ahead and do Okay, I've got the beef broth. I put in a cup just because I know if I don't, then it's going to burn, like I said. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in there. It's not gonna work right. So, this is kind of frozen, but that's fine because it's the instant pot. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna pour the carne asada sauce in there. Now I'm gonna put some green chilies in. And then we will put the lid on and then I'm just going to cook it since the meat is frozen about 20 minutes if it'll allow me to. I never know when the word messy is going to come on this thing. Just hit pressure cook, 20 minutes, good to go. So you guys, Ryan won't let me film him cooking for some reason, but I made the other dinner with the carne piccata. And then Ryan got the steakums that I got on sale from Aldi for $4.99. Took some green chili, he added some cheese. He added mushrooms and chopped them up, and maybe onion. I don't really know what all's in there. I was I wasn't home. But he used the Blackstone Grill that we have. He's been cooking up on that a lot lately, and used those protein wraps from Aldi. And look how pretty those are. One day I'll catch him. Okay, so tonight's dinner is easy. Getting out the instant pot. Got a can of cream of mushroom. Got a packet of onion soup mix, and this meat that I got on special for eight forty one. Going to put this in the instant pot with this and this and then um, there's a way you can slow cook it for 40 minutes I don't have time for that because instant pot is supposed to be quick if you cook it on the um, stew option meat stew I think you just cook it you can cook it for 40 minutes and let it sit for 12 and then release the pressure I'm not doing that I'm gonna put this in I'm gonna add some water to it because I know it will get the burn message if I don't because that's what it does <laughs> it is so sensitive so I'm gonna put this in there and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 20 minutes and then mix it together I'm gonna to serve it with some mashed potatoes left over because I've got tons and then the other sides so that way that's what I was gonna serve anyway was mashed potatoes but it'll have a gravy base to it so awesome let's get this going guys so we put that in there. Let's add the other. <laughs> Sorry for the background. Emily's running around with our dog, so it's kind of noisy. We're going to add the soup mix. So I decided to add beef broth because I thought that would give it more flavor. I just need liquid in there. When I cook, you got to usually put two cups in there and spill it all over the counter. <laughs> so I usually put two cups just because I know this thing is so finicky and it will get the burn me method message. So there is that. We're gonna put this in here for 15 to 20 minutes. I decided 20 because I just trust that more and we'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, we're using up leftovers. Green bean casserole's leftover. Mashed potatoes are leftover. Someone can eat the meatloaf I have leftover. Lenny wanted some macaroni. I did buy crescent, those um, buttered croissant rolls for $1.88. So I'm heating those up in the microwave and then the meat is done. Okay guys, for this recipe, we're gonna use our crock pot because that just makes life easier. So what we're gonna do here, spray out your crock pot. I'm taking a bag of meatballs that I had um, in my freezer I got on sale a while back at Kroger for like a huge sale. And then I'm going to take a fourth a cup of half and half here. Um, you can use heavy cream. I prefer to use half and half because that's what I keep on hand. And then we're going to use a half a cup of beef broth. We're going to mix that together in like a slurry. And of course you'll add in like, you can add whatever seasonings you want. I usually just stick to the traditional salt and pepper. I tend to put a lot of garlic powder into most of my stuff. Um, we're going to add a little bit of nutmeg in this one because the recipe I found um, on the internet had this. So that's what I'm adding into this, which is an unusual ingredient because I don't normally like to put nutmeg into anything <laughs> unless it's sweet. Um, however, I will tell you this recipe came out absolutely delicious. And then we are just going to mix one can of cream of chicken soup. Um, you can use cream of mushroom, but I did not have that on hand, so I'm gonna substitute it for the cream of chicken, which is fine. This came out tasting perfect, so 
no complaints here. And then we're just gonna put that over top of the meatballs. And then we're gonna cook this like you cook everything else on low for um, six to eight hours or on high for four to six. And once it's done, we're gonna mix all that together. And you usually wanna like, you don't wanna add your noodles in too soon because they will like just limp up. Um, we are adding a container of sour cream. This is just a small container. I think half of it, um, and like I said, to your preference, I'm just using up what I had left over. And then we're gonna add the noodles in because you have to wait to add the noodles. Um, I'm just using up the rest of the bag that I have. So half a bag of noodles. I may have added too many, but it's fine um, because I'm trying to bulk the meal up also for our family of six. And then you've got to add some liquid into this because only because I added way more noodles than necessary into this because I didn't want to waste anything. So I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth, broth here in just a second just to kind of give it a little bit more um, liquid into this so it um, is a little bit more moist. Um, but you guys, this turned out so good. And I just let it cook a little bit longer, added some extra seasonings and cook it for about another half an hour or so because you don't want to overcook um, noodles in there. Like I said, it will like turn out really nasty if you do. But this was absolutely one of my favorite meals. And I am not big on store-bought meatballs, but it was really, really good. <laughs> Okay, my friends, that's gonna be it for today's video. I so appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas of some easy meals that you can share with your family this week. And if it's just you, you can always make it and freeze it and use it another day. And that is awesome when you can do that. But you guys, I appreciate you watching. Do not forget to go check out Jamie's channel. It will be linked down below. Give Jamie some love, tell her I sent you. And you guys, I hope you have an absolutely awesome day. Love you all.